concept of postseason mentality from you guys throughout last season, and it took you as far as it did. I wonder, for you, it sounds like for some of the players at least, the definition of what the postseason, postseason mentality needs to look like has changed a little bit based on what they learned through last year. Has it changed for you at all? Do you want to see exactly that same theme this year, or have you tweaked that message a tiny bit based on the experience you got? I think anytime you have experience, it's it's the most valuable thing that you can get, you know, like when you don't have it, you go in with theory on it. And then when you get the experience, it allows you to see if we need to shape it or do things a little different. Um, postseason mentality, it showed up at our first regional. And then we understood that it, it can't just show up at postseason. It has to show up in the summer before they come in and in the fall. And so I would say those would be some things, just understanding that postseason mentality is just the mentality that you have regardless of where we're, you know, in the fall or in the spring or in postseason. Do you think that was the biggest lesson you learned from this previous season or were there other lessons as well that you feel like you're going to take into this 2024 year? I think what we really learned from this past season is just there's power in numbers and when everybody has the same belief and everybody wants more for the team than for themselves, like anything can happen. I think they found their identity last year. They understood how to be in um, adverse situations, but stay, play really, really loose. And I think in the past years, we, each year, it's like we're learning a valuable lesson for the, you know, that's going to help us through that season, but then go into the next. And I feel like we've learned so much and we've had so much experience that we have a lot of things answered going into the season and understanding what we need to do. So now it's just all about implementing, implementing it right away. Well, Paige and Stevie talked about how they in the past have been a little too focused on stats, things like that. They want to get away from that. They think it'll help them. Sounds like something that's easier said than done, but yeah. but is that part of kind of the mindset you're talking about that you want to see uh, kind of top to bottom throughout the team? For sure. And that's just where you think in postseason, you come up, there's a runner at third, you get fisted and you bloop a ball in and the run scores and in postseason they go crazy, right? In the beginning, sometimes earlier in the season, you're mad. You're mad. You don't care that the run scored, you're just mad that you got fisted. That's where, like, I think about, like, we're too worried about statistics or getting caught up in themselves. Um, so I think it's more about ultimately what do we need to do to win the ball game. As a coach, it seems on paper that you've got more pieces to play with now. You've got a, a pitching staff that's very full. You've got speed. You've got left-handed, right-handed batters. I mean, you, you've got basically everything you would want. How excited are you kind of going into the season to, to be able to utilize those? Yeah, I'm really excited. I think we're very deep. We're very experienced. Uh, we have nine seniors and super seniors, and there's something about having a team with that many seniors that is um, should be very, very uncomfortable for an opponent. They're all on the same page. Their leadership up to this point has been phenomenal, and I wouldn't expect anything less going into the season as well. Um, they're so committed to each other and to this program and knowing that we were two games away from going to the World Series last year and that we're not going to be two games away from going to the World Series this year. How much have you talked about that specifically or not? I mean, uh, have you tried to use that as a carrot like every day or, or have you tried to... Going to the World Series? Yeah, move on. Just the frustration of the of being so close last year. Yeah. No, I mean, I, I don't even have to say anything. They, they, they feel it. They came in. You know, this group is uh, very much... We're thankful for the experience, but when you get to that point and you have an opportunity, you got to make it happen, right? And that's what we think about is now having the knowledge, you know, it was our first and just, and having the knowledge to use it for this year. Was there any one thing you saw in fall ball that you really liked that you want to see that first week of, uh, of games? I, I would just say that just from the start, our, our seniors have been really tremendous in their leadership on the field, off the field. Um, you know, half our team is old and half our team is young. And so there's a little bit of a gap there. And I think our seniors have done a great job of, of bridging that gap with the young ones. They're forcing our young athletes to play at a high level, regardless whether they like to or not. And um, that's going to go a long way for us. I think the competitive spirit this team has, they show up every day for practice ready to compete where there's been you know it's hard to show up every single day even for us coaches at times it can be hard but you have to have the mindset to do that and this group has that mindset i don't think they take days for granted and that i think um is something that i feel from them more now than maybe i have in the past there's some things you can only learn once you do take the field against another team so what are some 
what maybe questions that you still have about this group that can only be answered next week and, and beyond. But I think about with this group, um, you know, I think about by the time we get to the end, are we where we need to be? I think we are. Um, what I want to see is can this group start fast? That's what I want to see. Can this group start fast? That's probably my biggest message. They're prepared. We're, we are, have depth in pitching. We have depth off the bench. We've got plenty of lefties and right-handed hitters. We've got an um, unbelievable defense. How quickly, how fast can we start? Speaking of that, you guys are obviously going to be facing off against multiple playoff teams to begin your season. How important do you think that early stretch of softball is going to be to really showcase to you that they've got the message and that they believe in this belief that they can make it to the next step in the World Series? I think it's really important. I, I think we've got to start. We've got to start strong because you want to start strong and get off on the right foot. But what I think about is in order for us to be ready to compete and just a packed you know, a deadly Pac-12 conference, then we've got to be able to handle teams right now in non-conference. To be able to get to postseason, we've got to be able to handle what's in front of us for the pack. So it's just, I don't think of us looking at the beginning to the end. It's just very much looking at it in chunks and just being caught up with what's in front of us and, and, and competing. Paige talked a little bit of playing with a little more swagger. Mm -hmm. Do you want to see them have a little bit more belief in themselves than perhaps they've shown in the past about the caliber of team they are and can be? Definitely, definitely. And I think just with the leadership and the older athletes, you get that. You know, the older athletes, they've been here, they've done it. They, they know what they need to do. So if you have some younger ones that are not quite sure, I think the older ones are like, just take our lead, just take our lead. But I do, and that's why I think just with the, the start, the fast start. I think the fast start is important. What are your thoughts on, on Emma and her transition and what she can bring to the team? I um, have a lot of really good thoughts on Emma. She's she's excellent at what she does. Um, she's another one. I We only get her for a year, but she's had urgency. We've all had urgency to get her to settle in and, and to be able to come in and be who she is. She's got a beautiful left-handed swing. She's clutch. She hits a lot of line drive. She hits really good pitching. Uh, she has good communication with our pitchers and with the defense. Um, she's here to, um, again, like do like do what it takes for the team. Like how can she contribute to the team? So um, I think you all are going to really enjoy watching Emma play. The players you lost last year, not that they were slow by any stretch. I mean, Kara, or, but, I mean, you've replaced them with literal speed, and this is potentially the fastest team. I've ever seen it definitely in the conference. Yeah. How excited are you? Because I know you like to be aggressive anyway, and mm -hmm. now you've got a lot more pieces. Yeah, I think we've always been a, a team uh, full of, you know, versatility and speed. But this year you see both of it even more along with the experience of being there. So it, it's tough. I think of Tara and Allie, they've been with me since day one. So I just expect that they're supposed to be with me forever. Um, but you know, to see KK come in, uh, who came in as a shortstop, she played first for us, but she's been doing a great job at second. And to see Emma and Val um, and Bracey and Trinity and Abby, you know, all those guys come in and um, do what they need to do behind the plate. It's, it's cool to see a different look, you know, you get athletes that graduate and then you're excited to see with athletes returning what they're gonna do. And uh, that's what I'm excited for this group. This, this senior group is a special group. I think you guys are going to really enjoy what you see this year on the field and, and how they go about things. You still have uh, one player left from your first signing class, Ariel. Um, just, you know, I'm sure we'll talk to you a lot about her during senior weekend, but just yeah. what, how excited are you to see her this season and what, what has she meant? Just because she, she definitely, when all of that coaching change happened, she could have definitely left, but she chose to stay. Yeah, Ariel, she's going to have a good year too. Really, really good year. Ariel, I cannot say enough about Ariel, the person. Um, she's an unbelievable student athlete, but just who she is as a person and um, being from Eugene, Oregon, you know, and she's such a fan favorite and she just takes a big swing at the plate and makes it look so effortless. And um, it's been really, really awesome to watch her come in as a freshman and then be here as a super senior, as a leader and um, what she's done for this program, what she's done for me. Like I just, I'm not ready for senior day yet with that one, with, with all of them, but she's gonna, you know, that's gonna be a tough one too. After talking with um, Stevie and Paige, it seems like a good word to describe how they wanna come into the season is unshakable. Mm -hmm. They don't want anything to be able to shake them. What do you think that word means um, in postseason mentality? Yeah, a conquering mindset. That's what I think about that. To me, I, we have a conquering mindset. And if I have a conquering mindset, I have an unwavering belief 
that gives me that mindset. That's what I feel from this team. What's it been like to have an experienced staff go through the off season and like move forward towards the season where you have everyone pretty much returning on or in the circle and you know, the goal is OKC. How important is it to like have an experienced staff like that? Extremely, you know, the, how the sport works, it's, it's about your pitching. You know, it is. Your pitching has such a big part of it. And, you know, last year we had a really nice staff, but we were banged up. I mean, we don't say a whole lot during the season, but we were banged up last year. And to see everybody healthy this year and to see the depth we have and the different looks and the fact that they're all older. You know, we have one freshman in Taylor Spencer, which I think is great. She doesn't have to come in as a freshman and try to take on this, this major load. Come in and do your part and then pass the ball. And so I... I think this pitching staff's going to do some big things this year. Kind of say going off of the staff, but you've also, you know, you guys were able to add another coach and you've got two experienced, mm -hmm. uh, you know, former players on. How nice is it to actually have a more um, rotund or, uh, you know, a bigger staff that's uh, able to support you? Yeah. Coach, um, Coach Liss, she was our volunteer coach the past two years. And then when it, Pass to allow us to have another paid coach. It was a no brainer to, for her to be our paid coach. What she's done, the experience that she brings from playing in the pack, playing as a pro, um, and just, you know, she just got done doing it. So she's just so relatable to our athletes. And then I think with coach Sid Romero, uh, these guys love her. You know, I got to coach her at Oklahoma. So her and I have known each other for a long time. Um, She's been there. She's done that. She's won national championships. She's played, you know, nationally. She's playing professionally. So she gets to come to practice as well. And we're working on a certain defensive situation. And she grabs her glove and she jumps right in it. And she's able to demonstrate. So I think of the staff that I have, and I call them my specialists because I think each one of them are so good at what they do. Coach Martyr and, and what she does with our offense, the records that she still holds at Ohio State, you know, they, they were able to do it and then coach it.